a rescue mission into remote Isiolo, Kenya, that activist Josephine Kulia has been planning for weeks. Isiolo is home to the Samburu. Their intricate bead necklaces are an iconic image of the country. But for many Samburu, these beads signify a curse that can lead to rape, unwanted pregnancies, and sometimes, say critics, the killing of babies. And Kalia has come to try and end it. They call it beading, and what happens is that a close family relative will come to the mother and father with some buru beads and then bead the girl, place it over her head, and effectively the adult man can have sex with girls as young as six. Kalia is rescuing girls like Josephine, who is 12 years old and several months pregnant. We're hiding her identity to protect her, but she tells us she had sex with a relative. It's a rape sanctioned by the Samburu community. Beating has gone on for as long as they can remember, but it's against the law in Kenya. And when they become pregnant, says Kulia, it gets even worse. Most of these girls, uh, when their pregnancy is small, they, are, they, are, they, are, they undergo an abortion, a crude abortion. But uh, once they're lucky, some of them hide the pregnancy until it's big. Once they realize it's big and cannot be squeezed out, they let them give birth, but only to kill these babies. Kalia says the girls have no choice but to kill the newborns, or if they are lucky, give them away to strangers. Samburu taboo dictates a girl like 14-year-old Nasuto will never be able to marry if she keeps her baby. But Nasuto's father tells me beating is a way to stop promiscuity in young girls. This is our culture, he says. It's part of us. And we have been practicing it, and we accept that these girls should be beaded. And sometimes the girls just get pregnant. But Kolia, a Samburu herself, says that this is a bad cultural practice. For everything, for any change that comes by, we have to have a start. And this is the start. The start is traumatic. The girls are taken away from their families and put in a shelter. Their babies sent to orphanages. But Kulia says staying would be a worse fate. Dave McKenzie, CNN, Isiolo, Kenya.